Hey Stallions, today we're going to learn how to create a sphere, which is a three-dimensional circle um, out of clay. And we're going to be using these to paint with, um, to create our planets. So first you want to have two pieces of clay, a mat, and a cup of water. You're going to be doing a pinch pot technique. The first thing you want to do is roll your clay um, into a nice round ball by going around in circles with the palm of your hand. I like to hold down my mat with my other hand to kind of help support it. The other way you can shape this um, ball into a nice round ball is by taking both palms of your hands and using a circular motion. Once you have a nice round ball, then you're going to first start by pushing a hole into your clay with your thumb all the way to the bottom but without going out through the other side. It's important that you leave a little space there. When you take your thumb out, you'll see you'll have a nice hole to start pinching. Okay, put your thumb back in the hole and use your other four fingers to pinch the clay. You're gonna pinch, twist, pinch, twist, pinch, twist, and you're gonna keep going around until the edges are about the thickness of your finger and this hole has opened up inside. Now you can see that my clay, there are some cracks and breakage. All you have to do is just take your finger dab it in a little bit of water and rub your clay gently to get those cracks out of the clay. That's your clay drying out because you're handling it with your fingers and it dries it out and so the more you handle the clay the drier it gets. You always want to have um, a little bit of water. Now just a little bit of water you could ruin the clay by adding too much. You want to have some balance. All right, so I've got my first pinch pot. I'm gonna put that aside. It's time to make another one. So we're All right, boys and girls, now we have two pinch pots and we're going to connect them to make our planet. So, we wanna make sure that the edges are about the same size. We're gonna do something called scoring. That's when you take a pencil and you scratch the edges of the clay. Both pinch pots. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of water. This is called slipping. So we score slip. And now we're going to connect the edges together. I like to turn it on its side. And you're just going to dig with your finger. Scrape the clay so it connects on the side. This is smearing the clay. So we score, slip, and smear when we connect two pieces together. And if you want to smooth out the connection with a little bit of water, you can. And it helps to then cup your um, clay and lightly roll it without um, the planet caving in kind of help shape it into that circle shape, that sphere. All right, now the last step is we need an air hole for air to escape. We don't want the clay to explode in the kiln. If air is gonna get trapped in this um, hollow hole. So we're gonna carefully poke the edge of our pencil, which is still enough to get through the um, the bottom, you don't want to go out the other side. That's going to allow air to escape um, in the kiln. 
when it heats the clay up, if the air escapes too quickly, it will explode. So this is going to provide a little airway pocket. All right. Now, if you have rings around your planet, no worries. I have a plan. We'll talk about that when these are fired the following week. And we're also going to get to paint them to match the colors that you researched. All right, we're all done. Good job, guys.